So before you talk about how you want to make a million plus, before you aim for financial freedom, before you essentially put anything of your dreams uh, ahead, my advice is the first thing you need to do is you need to end black tax. That's the first thing. Um, that's one of the things that I did. Is the aim is to say, first, before anything else, black tax. Because there are people uh, who worked, that were well off, and did not do it. They didn't put themselves in a position where they would have ended black tax. For those of you that don't know what black tax is, it's basically that I need to take care of my previous generation, um, and I basically sacrifice. I sacrifice for them, right? So, I I they're going to build them a house. So I've got to make sure that I'm sending them money every month, and that and those are sacrifices that have to that have to be made, simply because well, they're family, and I'm not against that at all. It's it's it, it makes sense, right? <laughs> but but where I'm going to is it's not sustainable. It's a bad idea long term. Right, um, I'm not blaming the previous generation. They had, they have the right. They have, we have the responsibility to do it, and it's essentially our job. But we're also the first generation to be enlightened and educated enough to not fall into the same situation as our uh, parents or forefathers, and therefore should not put our kids in the same situation. You might take this lightly, but think about it this way. If if your grandfather had put systems in place that secure him for life, right? And secure you for and secure your parents for life, you would be in an entirely different situation right now. You would probably be in an entirely different situation. So be that person. Be that person that basically says, I'm going to end black tax, I'm gonna pay the black tax, sure. But I'm also going to end it. And I'm going to make sure that I end it so that my, my kids don't have to go through it. And that's all i got to say, right? Now, if your kids decide that they want to spend money on you and they wake up one day and they, they suddenly realize what it is that you did, it'll be like, wow, that's what you did. Like, you paid that off, plus you ended it. Because then I would have had to pay it off. And you ended it. So if your kid decides to spend money on you for whatever reason, even if they're like that, I'll spend five grand on you on a holiday or ten grand on you on a holiday just for no reason, as a thanks for whatever, that's not black tax and they can afford to do it. So, and of course it's going to continue. Right. So that's kind of the idea is first end the black tax. But it's not going to be an institutional thing. Don't blame it on race. Don't blame it on the forefathers. Um, don't blame it on on systems that were there during whatever in history that 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 serves no purpose. What needs to be done is how do I do it? And there are ways to end black tax, but you've gotta you've gotta know what it is that you're gonna do, and you've gotta realize that it's bigger than you. Once you realize it's bigger than you, then you can essentially be the person who's in history in your family to say, this is what that person did. And not just be a grandfather who's your father's grandfather. No, be the guy that did one, two, and three within the family. And if you do that, you will have changed generations and generations' lives doing that ahead of time. So, black tax, end it.